Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and in this presentation we'll be looking at the basics of SharePoint subsites. If you are planning to install, migrate or maintain Windows SharePoint, we recommend you take a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. For more information, see www.wssops.com. So what is a SharePoint subsite? A subsite contains exactly the same features as a normal SharePoint site. It can, can include features such as document libraries, wikis, tasks and contacts. It can however have its own unique permissions. This allows you to create a site in which only a restricted subset of users can access. This can be very handy when creating a site that is supposed to be restricted to say the board of directors. It can also have its navigation integrated into the existing home site. This makes it easy for users to move backwards and forwards between the original home site and any new subsite that you create. A subsite can also be created based on an existing template. This allows you to create subsites very quickly without the need to completely start from scratch. A number of free templates are available from Microsoft and you're also able to create your own. So when we start SharePoint, initially we have a home site into which we put all our information. But when we create a subsite, we create a new SharePoint site which is below the existing home site. We can then go and create a further subsite, again below the home site, but on the same level as the original subsite. And if we continue on, we can actually create subsites below subsites, as you can see from the diagram here. With that in mind, let's have a look at how subsites work. So here we are at our SharePoint website. If we look down the left hand side on the quick link menu, we'll see that under sites we already have a subsite called Social Club. To access this subsite, all I do is simply click on the link and I will be taken to that subsite. Once I'm at my subsite, you'll see that it has a completely different look and feel to my parent. It has attendees, directions, different tabs, different color scheme. I can easily return to my parent site simply by going up to the top left hand corner and clicking on the home tab. If we now look at the similar area in our parent site, you'll see that the subsite social club also has a tab which means I can easily navigate to it using this method as well. So to cre actually create a subsite we need to log in as the SharePoint administrator which I'm currently logged in as. I then need to go to the site actions and select the option to create from underneath site actions. Once the create page is displayed I then select uh, sites and workspaces from beneath the web parts section. I now need to give my new subsite a name. In this case I'm going to call it IT Team and I next need to decide what the URL will be. So if I want to access, access this site directly I can do so by typing in the URL. I will name it IT Team to keep it consistent. I now scroll down a little bit, I'll be able to see that I can now create my new subsite based on a number of different templates. The number of templates available may vary on SharePoint installations, but in this case I've actually installed the additional templates available free from Microsoft. As you can see by default, the subsite will be set up as a team site, but I can also select from things like different meeting templates and also application templates. In this case I'm going to select the IT Team Workspace template from underneath application templates. I now scroll down 
I will see that I'm given the option as to how I want to handle the permissions for the site. Here I have two options. I can either leave the permissions to be inherited from the parent site or I can use unique permissions. In most cases you want to leave the permissions the same as the parent site allowing existing users to readily access this new subsite. But if you want to create an area that is, has restricted permissions then select use unique permissions. Further down I can select the navigation. I can choose whether to display this subsite in the list of sites on my quick launch bar which I showed you initially. The next option is to whether I want to display this site in the top link bar of the parent site. Once again the social club site has this option enabled. Finally I can choose whether in the sub site I will use the same top link bar from the parent site. By default I will keep that as yes. Once I've made my selections I simply press the create button to commence the sub site creation process. As you can now see my subsite has been created and I have been taken to the subsite directly. You'll notice that again it has a completely different look and feel from my parent site being based on the IT team template I selected. You'll notice across the top that I have a tab as I select as I mentioned in my setup um, so I can then return to my home page by simply clicking on this tab. If I now want to delete this subsite completely and all the data within. I simply go to my IT, go to my subsite, logged in as a SharePoint administrator, select site actions, go to site settings, from the site settings I select the option to delete this site from under the site administration section. I'm now prompted with a warning that I'm about to delete not only the site but also the documents and the document libraries and basically everything in the site. If I'm happy to proceed I select the delete option. I'm given one more option um, to confirm that I wish to permanently delete this site. I want to do so and select OK. The site is now removed from my SharePoint site along with any connections, links or tabs. Once the site has been deleted you will see that I have no option to return to the parent site so what I need to do is basically type the team site, original team site into my web browser and when I'm returned to the home page you will note that there is no longer any more references to the IT team subsite. So again as you can see there is no longer any reference to the IT team in the tab or down here under sites. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net.au Also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog Thank you very much for watching.